Well, it's adventure time. Oh, oh. Почет, товарищ. My name is Kelman. Welcome to that Russian gamer guy. Welcome back to Heavy Rain. We're continuing. We're playing, playing uh, Scott the detective, and I might have some troubles with sound today, so I'm sorry for that. Hopefully, everything's gonna be okay. But just in case, and here we go. Tuesday, 9:52 p.m. We are in the store with this guy. Let me see if I started the timer. Yes, I did. Here we are. You can see my beautiful mic today. Even though I hate this word mic because I... Oh. I'm shutting out. Good evening. Good evening to you, sir. All right. Let's talk. Can I help you, sir? Where? Well, I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. Wolf. I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. I have nothing more to say. All right, that's another victim. The killer has kidnapped another victim. A ten-year-old boy. Like your son, Risa, I have four days before we find his body on a deserted stretch of wasteland. No one did anything to save my son. Now, would please to move along, sir. Oh, perceive sympathize. I also lost someone I love. I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand that I do not wish to talk about it. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out, and at least I won't go away completely empty-handed. In the back of this door, to the right. Thanks. All right, let's go back of the store. All right. Uh, let's buy this asthma thing. So he doesn't want to talk. Good evening, sir. Oh, <gasps> he's gonna rob Are him. You looking for something in particular? Give me what you got in the registry. Fox. Don't fucking try anything. Open the registry, you dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. Let's save the days. You deaf or what? Are you gonna open that fucking register or not? No, sir. You do not have the right to steal that money from me. I have worked very hard to earn it. You cannot have it. What did you say? You're out of your fucking mind, man. You don't get it, do you? I'm gonna put a fucking bullet right between your eyes if you don't do what I say now. You shall not be robbing my register, sir. That money is mine. I ask you now to leave before it is too late. Christ, goddamn idiot! Open the register. Don't make me fucking kill you. Just don't. No, sir. That I cannot do. Fuck. Shit. Drop it. Why? Now. Don't move. Hands up. Put your fucking hands up, or I'll shoot. Why, for Christ's sake? A uh, reason name. What's your name? Uh, my name's Scott. What about you? What's your name? Andrew. My name's Andrew. Uh. Do you have anyone you care for in your life? A, a girlfriend, maybe? A family? Yeah. A little girl. I got a little girl. Her name's Jessica. Here you go. What would Jessica think if she saw you here? Ask yourself, what would happen to her if things go wrong? You haven't done anything serious yet. If you put the gun away, we'll forget about what just happened, and that will be the end. Just walk away. Nothing serious. Shit, man! What the fuck do you think I'm doing here? Look, it's not worth it. Put the gun down. And just walk away. You giving me advice? I'll give you some fucking advice. Oh my gosh. Don't panic. Let's just stay calm. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Uh, we're all just gonna be cool, and everything will be all right. Yeah, yeah. I'm cool, man. Everything's gonna be all fucking right. Uh. You don't really want to shoot anybody, do you? 
I'm sure we can find a way out of this mess, right? Nice try. For a second there, you almost had me believing all your shit. What the fuck? What's happening? Why am I fighting all the time? Oh shit, that was fast. You see, again, there's another victim of origami killer and someone tries to hurt them again and I'm saving them. Thank you, sir. And he's gonna I help me. I don't know what would have happened if you had not been well, here. This I didn't come by for nothing. Have a nice day. When my boy, Razor, disappeared, I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Can I? I really love this detective called Shelby. He's so cool. And when he tries to talk to people, he's so calm and Please, take it's the powerful. Box. It can't be of any use to you at all. It did not help me to save Reza. But maybe it will help you find the other little boy. Mr. Shelby. I was Thank beginning you. to think that there was no good to be found in this place. But you're good, huh? See now that I was wrong. Oh my gosh, I have goosebumps. I think he's my favorite character now from this game. You see, he already saved two people. It's less than two hours of gameplay and he already saved two people. This is so good. He's so nice. Reminder, press the indicated button repeatedly until it disappears. Okay, so this is our uh, fourth uh, character. Uh, what's her name? Miranda, Melissa, something, Melina? I don't know. Something with M, Melanie. Um, Wednesday, 2.44 a.m., 1.5 inches. Ooh, 1.5, that's not a lot. I like having Mike here. It's like giving me this vibe of a real gameplay video maker. Like, hey, bitches, hello, what is up? All right. Ooh, all right, lady. No, 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 YouTube. No, no, no. You do not see it. Mm -hmm. Hi. All right, what's that? Sure, let's let's use our watch. Turn off TV. Just like that. Now, who is this girl? I have no fucking idea. But I know that she has some nice booty! Slap, slap booty! Ooh, look how she walks. Like, mm, fire! Oh, let's go to sleep here. Yeah. I'd love to go to eat something from the fridge because I'm a night eater. But it's alright, let's sleep. Uh oh. Someone's watching? Shoes. Someone's inside my house. Okay, get up, girl. Looks like you want to fall asleep. So is this the mirror behind or why? Ooh, booty slap slap. Okay, let's see. What is this? Wait, no one's here. You wanna check it? Uh oh. What's up? Let's call 911. 
Oh, slap, slap. <gasps> Shit, this is not good. Uh, What should I do? Let's take a knife. Let's grab a knife. Come on. Come on, booty slap, slap. Where's the knife? Now, is there a knife? No. But she wants to read some journals, huh? Jeez. Okay, girl, it's time to call 911. Papa 911, Papa another one. Come on. Why are you walking like this? Like fire of my loins. Yeah, some coffee to be. Extremely powerful when it comes to fight people. Okay. Okay. What else? What is this? Let's play some music? No, it's probably licensed. For Christ's sake! No, I'm not playing this music, yeah, baby. Let's turn it off, my baby. You should stay real close to Jesus. Keep your bottle at your hand, my man. Shower. Wow, it's like a freaking chamber of secrets. If you know what I mean. All right, Chamber of Secrets. Please. Oof. Slap, slap. All right, everything's cool, dope. What is this? Medicine? For what? Breakfast? Was it? What is this? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, no! YouTube, no! Shoes. Okay, oh, hello. Why, why are we even watching this? Can somebody explain why we're watching this? I don't wanna hear it, I don't wanna see it. YouTube. <laughs> my gosh, let's just get out. There's probably an option to take a shower, right? For Christ's sake, I don't want to take a shower. Can I just skip this part? Can I skip this part, please? Because she's 100%, she's gonna be freaking naked. Let's go sleep, please. Is there anything other? That I can interact with. Yes, let's open the window. Yes, it's beautiful. But girl, what is this? Here you go. Shit. I'm so glad I skipped freaking shower. Okay. Oof. She's getting nervous. Oh, fuck. Who this? Shit. Wait, what the fuck? Shadow fighter? There's someone here. There's well, someone in the apartment. It was obvious, like... The phone, on the desk. I could call for help. The front door. It's the only way out. If I can reach it, I still have a chance. Okay, bitch. Let's go.
Where's the fucking phone? Okay, let's go. <gasps> Shit! What's happening? <gasps> Ow! You fucker! <gasps> Who the heck is this? Here you go. You don't want to mess with me? <gasps> A second guy! Or it's the first one. Ow! In the balls! Can I use his freaking knife? Oh shit! She stopped him! Yeah, she dangerous- oh shit! There are three of them now! Like what the heck? Ow! That hurts! Oh! <gasps> Missed it! Oh no! Ow! This is some hot action as always! TV's dead! Ouch! That's it. <gasps> well, she's still fighting. He's behind you. Shit. I thought we can open the secret chamber. It was a fucking dream. Oh my gosh. For real, bitches? It's a fucking dream? One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Three, four, lock your door. Five, six, grab your crucifix. Seven, eight, gonna stay up late. Nine, ten, never sleep again. You have unlocked a new bonus and we're back to our main guy. I, I forgot his name. I don't even know if I heard his name yet. I definitely heard his last name, but I don't remember it. Wednesday, 7.31. 1.7. She, I'm a star now. Okay. We gotta survive. We gotta fix this problem and find my son. The story is actually very complicated. There's a ladder. Personal. Ethan. Okay, his name is Ethan. Ethan Mars. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged. But it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. What? What exactly we're talking about? Uh, okay. Locker. Bunny. What is this? I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. Let's go. Mr. Mars! Mr. Mars! A few Mars. words! Mr. Mars! Goddamn reporters. They've been camped outside my house all day. So what? Let's go. Mr. Mars! 
Can you confirm that your son has disappeared? Do you think the origami killer Mr. Mars, kidnapped him? Get another car. Mr. Mars, I'm going to walk straight Mars, to that please. car without stopping Mr. on the way. Are you worried your son might Mr. be Mars. dead? Mr. Mars, do you suspect anyone, Mr. Mars? Do you know if the investigators have any leads? No comments. You lost your son in the park. Mr. Mars, Shut up, can everybody. You your son do you think your son is still alive? What I think is that you're gonna be dead if you're gonna continue to ask me these stupid questions, uh-huh. I'm a fucking origami killer, I'm gonna kill y'all. And your kids. This rain is heavy. Like, bit. Heavy rain. Is it still Ethan? Yeah. Oh, it wasn't Bugs Bunny. It was an angel. Oof. He has a panic attack. He doesn't like to be around so many people. I wonder... Okay. Wow, this is gonna, crazy. Gonna have to make it through the crowd. I can't can't take crowds. Just can't handle it. You'll be all right, my man. But can you walk a little bit faster cuz we don't have Maybe I could come back later when there's less of a crowd. No, bitch, let's do it right now. Uh, Anxiety. It. Too many people. It's Too all right. People. It's all right. It's all right. Breathe. Breathe in, breathe out. Like breathe Hillary Duff. Oh, he's bad. He's bad. My man, it's gonna be all right. Keep breathing in and out, in and out. Like, imagine like you're giving a birth to a child. Ah, <gasps> what's happening? Schizophrenie? Dis-moi mon autre, dis-moi schizophrenie. Oh. No oh, shoes. Ooh, I've been Dad. murdering them, murdering them. Sean? Dad. This annoying voice. It's Sean. Dad, where are you? Oh, it's Jason. Jason! Look at them. Make him them fall like dominoes. Kiss me in the D A R K dark tonight. Kiss me in the B A R K park tonight. Hey Lolita, hey, yo Jason, here I am. Bitch, I got you. Oh, he disappeared. No, I mean for real. You want me to? Oh, uh, kill them all. Not that I really mind doing this. Okay, okay. Let me go! Dad. Jesus. Jason! Oh man, you're okay? Oh, come on, get up. We're gonna make it. Oh, you made it. Good job. Walking in your dreams or whatever that is. You make it, you made it. Luggage locker. Okay. Wait, the other way. He's like, no way. Line 18, box number 3. Okay. 18, box number 3. I can do that. 8, 9, 12, 13, 16, 17, 18, number 3. 18, number 3. All right, boys. 17... 
Here you go, 18. Number 3, here you go. Yes, honey. What's inside? Oh, it's the same box as the guy from the store. He gave the detective Shelby uh, the same box. Shoe box. Inside should be like origamis. Okay, something's happening. So, motel crossroad. Oh, we're staying in the motel. 207. I love this number. I love 207. It's either 207 or 201. Like in the longest journey, April Ryan, 201. Find her, save her. Okay, another loading screen. That's good. Get up. Get up, what's up? Let's see. But look at this rain, it's like really heavy. Extra heavy. Oh, shoes. 23 terabytes? What? So it's a phone, a gun, a couple of origamis. Um... We need this gla these glasses, like VR glasses. A gun, it looks dangerous. Do you want me to kill myself? She is loaded. Alright, let's see origami. So number one is bear. My lovely bear. Let's see. Alright, are you prepared to show courage to save your son? Joey's Garage and Parking Lot, 4988 Roosevelt Avenue, Lexington. Wow, is this poetry? Are you prepared to show your courage? Go to garage. Uh-huh. What is this flash drive? Oh, that's dope. Is it Nokia? Connecting people? Okay, playing video. Hell, Dad, Sean. where are you? I'm so cold, Dad, Dad. I mean, it is very sad. How far are you prepared to go to save someone you love? I can go to another continent. I can go to LA to save the day for Lana Del Rey. Ooh, five origami figures. Each figure is a trial. Each trial provides letters. The letters reveal an address. Okay. I probably saw this address in one of my visions from the beginning of the game. So we have five trials to follow. Probably... You wanna hide it? What for? No. Why would you want to hide it, right? So, this is first trial. Uh, the guy from the store, he probably wasn't so smart to follow the trials. Otherwise, he'd be able to kind of save uh, his kid. Maybe or maybe not, I don't know. Um, a new bonus and we're back to... What's his name? I don't remember. Wednesday, 9.31. Age between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives him an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Excuse very me, what? And where does all that get us? A 
builds up a profile of the killer and helps us understand the person we're looking for. It might have been useful if it was done earlier in this investigation. Continue, Jaden. Rainfall. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. Geo profiling. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this uh, zone? For the moment, about 10 square miles. Oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. Well, 10,000 is not a million. Aggressive bitch. It may not give us the address of the killer, but at least it's something to go on. Blake, if you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Don't be shy. I'm all ears. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Ah, damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, and we gotta get off our asses and find him. Reason, go for him. Go for Blake, him! I've had just about enough of your shit. You've been chasing this guy for what? Two years? And what do you caught, huh? Nothing! Absolutely nothing! What, well, you think you can do a better fucking job than me with your psychology degree and your great glasses? Well, let me tell you something, pal. That don't mean zip when it comes to getting out there. You're just a fucking bureaucrat. Bitch, defund the police. Uh, go for it. Your him. vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered. Fucking asshole! That's enough. What the fuck is happening here? Is you that a fucking kindergarten or a police station? Died. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. Gee. Oh, we're interrogating. Okay. Why am I working with this bitch? I don't want to see him. Bonjour, c'est moi, policeman. No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. Bitch is gonna break the door. There is now. Telling you. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Call the cops. What a fucker. Oh shit. Jesus. Show me your teeth. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a god fearing idiot. Waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I had come to Earth to persecute him. Real twisted. It's crazy. Holy Bible. This is his bad. The walls are covered with writing. What does it say? From the Bible. I do have quotations on my cross. Oh, he's drug addict. I see, I see. Zoprak, Prozak. Oh shit, why you wanna be so rude? Let me go though. What was in that room? It's bathroom. 
What the hell? Oh, it's vitamins. It's nothing like not antidepressant stuff. I don't know how to pronounce this stuff, but you know what I mean. More Jesus pigs. I like his cute Jesus pigs. You should stay real close to Jesus. Keep your bottle at your hand, my man. Ta da ta da ta da bad again. Sing it, sing me like a Bible hymn. Okay, so what's up? I check. Oh shit! Oh, he has a cross like me. Hey, bitch! You didn't hear it? Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. I think he's not a killer. He's Angels cool. And ministers of Grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. I believe you. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Um. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4:30 p.m.? Pray. I was here. I was praying all day. Told you. Was there anybody with you? Jesus. No, I was alone. Occupation. Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? I pray. My sole occupation is praying to the All Merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. I know what's up. Mm, crucifixes. Why all the crucifixes? Are you afraid of something? Demons. The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. I see. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. Stop! Don't You're scaring him. Speak that name. Stop! What does he Blake, say to you, Nathaniel? What are you doing? Hey! I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. He That's orders enough. you to go and find Leave new prey, alone. doesn't he? He needs more and more. How can I help you? No. No! You mustn't mention him! You'll bring him here! Stop doing this, bitch! I told you to go and find that kid in the park! Out of your mind? The voices tormented you all night long! You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Jesus! Stop! Stop! That's enough! So you obeyed them to make them stop! Okay, you I'm took out. that boy with you and you drowned him! Isn't that right? No! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? You... Fucker. I wanna kill him. You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I Nathaniel. I saw the bastard to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy shoot, us. For Christ's sake, shoot! No, no. Oh... Uh, reassure. Down, Nobody here wants to hurt you. Put the gun down. Psychology. Lieutenant Blake is going to leave our planet right now and return to the what? realm of shadows. Creature of darkness, I do beseech you to return to the realm of shadows and leave our Nathaniel in peace. Demon. You shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. Oh, calm down, reassure, listen. Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. Christ all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire. Fucking crazy. And may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths of hell. Oh, calm down, order. Reassure. I'm here to help you, Nathaniel. To give rid of the voices in your head, but you have to trust me. Back off. Back away. Slowly. Drop gun. Drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. 
Drop it like it's hot. He's gonna fucking attack him. Put your hands on your head. The stupid Carter. Turn around. No. Motherfucker. In the name of the Lord, I exorcise thee, Satan. Okay, freak. The show's over. You're under arrest. Why? He's so pretty damn cool under the circumstances. I would have just shot him. Fuck her. isn't the answer to every problem, Blake. It was a cross. Not, but most of the time it helps. I don't know how he can be so stupid, this Carter guy. But I'm glad I didn't shot him. Wow. Oh, achievement, self-control. God knows self-control. Da 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 and rock and roll. So we're back to Detective Shelby, my favorite character. Let's see what's gonna happen. It's all so interesting. I love this game. It's very uh, involving and I like it how you can make all these different uh, choices. Really, it reminds me, I mean, obviously, uh, of Detroit Become Human. Wednesday, 10.30, same a 7 a.m. 1.9 inches. Is it another victim, Detective Shelby? Look at his face. Okay. What is this thing? Oh, it's open. Oh, there's a baby. Standing here in an empty room, I saw you there, my blood ran cold Take me back to the long September, don't know how I will let you go I was young, didn't know by love, you were wild, couldn't get enough Anybody home? Mrs. Mrs. Bowles oh, It's too hard, I can't stand it anymore, take care of my baby <gasps> Shit, she dead or what? Open, open! Mrs. Bowles? Mrs. Bowles, are you there? Oh, <gasps> Fox! Come on, come on, come on! Is she still alive? Oh, she's still alive. Mrs. Bowles! Mrs. Bowles, can you hear me? Ah! Fuck, 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 don't show me Wake this up. shit. Wake up! Okay, here we go. Let's put her in on top of the bed. Oh, I should find something to fix all this stuff. Baby, stop crying. I hope he's okay. No, I, I don't want to go to the hospital. Please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this wound with? Yeah. I think so. Oh my gosh, she's okay. so conscious. Don't move. I'll be right back. I do have respect to her because she sounds so conscious. Let's see. I need this. And this? I need fucking and everything. This. Okay. I think I can save her. Right? This is insane. Stay with me, Susan. Susan, do you hear me? Susan, stay with me. Can you hear me? Stay with me. Okay, come on. It's probably fucking hurts. You, You'll be all right. I'll take care of you. You hear? 
his voice is so calm and peaceful and it makes you feel like everything is gonna be okay I like this guy this there, voice acting is amazing that should stop the bleeding well, luckily the wounds aren't too deep hey how are you feeling you okay my baby my baby needs me I'll save him right you stay there I'll take care of the baby okay Hopefully she won't kill her. Do you know her. what to do? With a baby, I mean. Yes, what's his name? I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> He's amazing. I love her him so Emily. much. All right. Gotcha. Hello, Emily. Yo, little Emily. What's up? What's wrong with you? You want to eat? Oh fuck. Okay, one sec. Oh, here's food. Alright, everything's gonna be fine. I'm pretty sure I can uh, save the situation. Hello, Emily. Hi there, Emily. So, what seems to be the problem, huh? Going by the smell, I got a pretty good idea. Okay. I'm a papa. Okay. How do you do this again? Call me daddy. She happy. She enjoying. Big daddy taking care of her, huh? She's so cute. There you go, fresh new baby. Yes, baby. That should feel better. Right, Emily? She enjoying her time with me. Hey, what's the matter? I she wants to solve the problem. Eat. You should put it like on your skin to see if it's a uh, body temperature. Oh, they have the special thing. All right, let's wait. Is it ready? It's ready. Oh, so you probably don't have to check it since it has this automatic warmer. Here you go with oh, the bitch, come on. Here you go, my little Emily. Oh, Emily, are you hungry? Hmm? You hold on. Oh, Just baby. Just choke this a little bit, so you don't choke. Okay. Uh, you don't choke. Oh my gosh, look at her, she drank the whole bottle. C'est crazy. You wanna puke? Oh shit. Oh, good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze. Okay. Alright. Oh. She's so happy. My little baby. Look at her face. She enjoying it. Okay, let's put her into that shit. He was like, bitch. Oh. Sorry, kid. You're not done rocking, right? Hmm. 
My bad, my bad. E. Ha. Bitch, tell me that's enough. I'm done with rocking her. Okay, gotta be extremely careful. Here you go. We did it. Yes, Papa. Let's go check Emily. Hopefully she's not there. Lady, you alright? Thanks for looking after my baby. No worries. I didn't want to leave her. I just couldn't cope anymore. What's the problem? Just not having Jeremy around. He was such a good boy. It's another victim. Can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. The day after Jeremy. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe... Maybe he couldn't take it. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and... I couldn't do it anymore. I understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? No. He left the house without a word and... There was just a cell phone. A cell phone? Yeah, I, I found a cell phone in his dresser. I'm sure it wasn't his. I'd never seen it before. Let me see. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's in a drawer in the living room. You can have it if you'd like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. All right. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah. My mother. Can you call her? I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm out of options. Well, look after yourself. And Emma. I will. I promise. All right, you see he saved another person's life. He is so good. Or maybe it's fake. Maybe he's the fucking killer. That'd be crazy, huh? Maybe he has split personality and he is so good uh, in the daytime and then he's a fucking origami killer in the moonlight. Okay, okay, another thing solved, I mean, another chapter done, nothing is solved yet, but we are getting there, uh, I think in the next episode we're gonna be doing this first trial, bear trial, origami trial, reminder, it's Ethan again, yes, so, uh, we're gonna be finishing for today, Next time we're gonna see this first trial and hopefully it'll uh, bring some light on the situation and I really hope that we'll be able to save Sean because it'd be so crazy if uh, to lose second child it's gonna be like completely insane um, yeah so don't forget to drop a like write a comment subscribe to this channel and see you next time Bye.